everybody. Welcome back to another video from Breezy Organization. We are doing a midweek video this week and we're going to try to do some of these throughout um, the weeks to the end of the year. But today I am so excited because we have something brand new that we are discussing today. And to me, this is going to absolutely change the way that I digital plan. So I'm really excited to get into what we are showing you today, how you can use it and some stickers to go along with it. So as you guys know, um, good note just recently launched their GoodNote 6. Um, it had a few minor changes in my opinion as far as from a digital planner standpoint. There wasn't a whole lot of difference as far as what's going to change the way that I do things. Now they do charge for subscription and I go over all of that stuff in a different video. So you can check YouTube and check out that video if you're interested in some of the other stuff that they came out with. As far as digital planning goes, they have just recently updated the GoodNote 6 app and they've made some in incredible changes. So there's three changes that I want to go over with with you today, how you can use them and get the most out of them, especially if you are a digital planner. So let's get started. If you're new here to the channel, welcome. We talk about all things digital planning. I personally use an Apple Pro with a pencil, but you can use this on many different devices. If you would like to try um, our products to make sure they work for you, work on your device and see if this is something you could be interested in, go ahead and go on to breezyorganization.com. You can download a free notes planner and stickers to give this a try before you buy. We will have some things linked down below in the description as, as well as the new release that we have for you guys midweek this week. So we also come out with new products every single Saturday. So there's always something new and interesting going on here. So let's get right right into the three new features for goodness. So we all use digital stickers with our planners. So um, this is just um, a ranging layers effect. So GoodNotes works in layers, although you cannot open a layers panel and move things around or lock layers, it does work in layers. So whatever you add onto the screen first is what is going to show up on the bottom layer. So this one's pretty self-explanatory, but I'm gonna show you a few tricks on how it works. Um, so say I want this Hello November, I'm gonna drag this over, I want it really big down here. And then I want to add this bike. I'm gonna click on the bike, drag it over, and then put it right here on the side. Okay, I want it right there. But I want this Hello November to be on top. See how it's actually behind this bike sticker? The layers are different because I added this one first. So I want this to be on the top. So if I touch this, it's going to appear on the top. And you think, okay, I've got it fixed. If you tap off, it's gonna go right back behind where it was there because that's the order it was added on the page. To change this, GoodNotes did add in a new feature. So when we click on this Hello November, I can click on it again and it's going to bring me up with some options. And now we see an Arrange option. So we're going to click Arrange and allows us to bring it to the front or the back. So if you're messing with multiple layers, you've got to really be strategic on where you want that specific layer. Like you may want to move the bike, but it may make more sense to move the lettering on top if you've got another layer in between. Um, so that is how that's going to work. You can see now that it has stayed on top because I have moved it to the front. Now I can click it again, hit arrange, and I can send it to the back. And that is going to send it to the, and that is going to put it behind the bike. So, but we went in the front. So just click it, arrange, bring to front. This is going to make it a lot easier, especially whenever you're messing with little photo frames and stuff like that to not lasso too many things and to not lose product behind. Say you lost a little sticker behind a photo or a box um, and you're grabbing it each time you're, you're trying to move it. This will allow you to just click on that top object, send it to the back so you can see what's behind it. Um, it's going to be really, really useful whenever you're just doing your day-to-day -day planning. And this will work on handwriting. It'll work on text. It'll work on images. So if you're wanting to use this for like handwriting, you're going to click here. Okay. So say we want this thick, thick lined box here. So we're going to drag like where it's coming out of this and then it's going through these words and then it's going to come down here into the tire. Okay, and then you've sent it to the back. And then say um, you don't like it behind this, you can just erase this hello part. And there you go. It can say hello November just like that. Let's go ahead and erase it to pass this. There you go. Now you've got this cute little box coming out and the hello November, and you've got all of everything arranged. You've sent that to the back, so it's behind that sticker. So it looks like it's coming out of that bike. So um, that's a little bit of information on the arrange. Okay, so let's go ahead and delete this. 
Okay, so the second item that they have brought to GoodNote 6 with this update is a much, much, much requested item, and that is hex codes. Now, we always offer our hex codes in the top of our stickers, but you have to type in this annoying number, and it's just not fun to do that at all. So now, if you're wanting to use any of the stickers, you can use hex codes. Say I've got this really cute spread here, and say I want to change this appointment right here. Kyson's Dentist uh, is in black, and every Everything else pretty much has really cool colors. So say I want to change this to this brown. All I have to do is hit text and then I'm going to highlight all of the text here. And then I'm going to hit color and custom and then hit this little dropper tool here and then just go up and touch on that brown. And it is automatically gonna change my text to that brown to completely match the page. Okay, so say I'm on this post here. This is one of my weeklies from um, a couple of weeks ago. And say I want to do a specific color here. So um, right here I have plan next week. So let's say I want to change this text and I want to make it a color. So I'm gonna click on the lasso tool and um, I'm gonna change both of these texts at the same time. So I'm gonna turn on text boxes and turn off everything else. I wanna highlight it and hit color and hit custom and then hit the dropper tool. And let's say I'm gonna try this orange here. I'm just gonna drag it over there. That's gonna change it to that orange. Okay, I wanna try another one. I'm gonna try this pink, okay? That's what that looks like. I can hit it again. And I can try another color, any of these colors across the whole page. You can just keep trying different colors. So it is so easy to make everything look super streamlined in the same colors. Um, anytime you add a sticker, you can grab any of those colors from the sticker really, really easily. And you can use this for text. You can use it for your highlighter or for your drawing. So super, super easy. Um, you can highlight it and hit text or you can use a lasso, lots of different ways. And then you can also save hex codes really easy. So say this is the sticker pack that you have over here um, and you click on this and you want to change the colors here. I'm gonna show you how easy this is. So you can just get your own colors for the hex code. So you're going to do custom, you're going to do this eyedropper, you're going to do the eyedropper, and you're going to bring it up to whatever color looks good up here for a yellow. Um, so let's go with that. And then you can just add to preset, and then it added it down here at the bottom. And then let's go ahead and add another one. So we're going to hit color, and we're going to hit custom, and eyedropper, and we're going to grab this green. We love that green. We're going to hit add to presets. It's going to add it down here at the bottom. So, so far I've got this yellow and the green. And then I'm going to go to custom, eyedropper. Let's grab this cream. That's a really good basic color. We're going to add that. And that's going to show up down here. And you can make your own rows with each of your... Um, each of your stickers that you get and you can match all of the colors perfectly so now whenever I take this out and I can go down and hit my yellow so I know this yellow is going to match this tree and then I'm going to go down and grab this green it's going to match this frame and then I'm going to go down and grab that beautiful cream color that's a good neutral and it's going to match this bike so how amazing is that to have your custom colors It's going to match any stickers Anything that you add into your planner, you can definitely color match it if there are colors already in your planner. Super, super easy to get a streamlined, really nice, aesthetic, pleasing looking spread. Uh, so that is hex colors. Super easy to add your own, super easy to make a really quick change to text. Um, you can use it across pretty much anything that you use, the drawing, writing, text, anything that you've already added. Um, getting your hex codes on your own, very, very easy. Love, love the new hex codes. I wish that had been added years ago. <laughs> Okay, so on to the third and final amazing tip here. So this is also great if you're wanting to add your own color palette. So let's go grab some color palettes. Let's go to Pinterest and we're going to type in, we're gonna type in fall color palette. Click on that and this is gonna bring you up all kinds of options. So say we just love this one right here. We're gonna click on this and then you can click on the three dots and download image. It says image downloaded. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to Good Notes. Okay, so say I wanna add color um, like weather stickers. So say I'm gonna grab this one here. Okay, we're gonna put this sun down here and then we're just going to circle this and change the color and I'm gonna put custom 
and I'm going to change it to this color here so the spread kind of has a cohesive look to it. So I can do that one there and then I'm going to grab another one over here. Let's see, say it's supposed to be raining on this day. We're going to bring this over here, put it right here, and we're going to lasso color, custom, and it's going to match the next one, okay? And then we're going to grab, say, I wish it was snowing, but say it's going to snow. We're going to put that down this corner, and then we're going to lasso color, and we're going to pick the next one. And so you see it's going to turn out really cute that each one of those is going to match like the next one that's below it. So let's add one more in this guy here. Say we've got a storm coming. We're going to put him right here, and we're going to circle circle color custom eyedropper hit the next one and click off and you're done so you can see you can add everything that's going to completely match so lots and lots of ways that you can use this new um, system here you can also add in your own um, image like we grabbed that image from pinterest so you can add in that image and you can definitely pick any of these colors and do something as well so click on custom and then say we absolutely love this pumpkin spice color um, then we can go over here and do whatever we want to do with it over here and then just delete this. But that can give you a great color palette to work off on if you're not working from stickers. Um, so that is pretty much the hex codes and how you can use them. They are absolutely amazing. Total game changer in my book with the digital planning and especially making like aesthetically pleasing spreads. You've got so many more options and it's so much easier than going into another app to figure out different colors. So that is how hex codes works in GoodNotes. Now I have saved the best for last, y'all. This is the feature that I think is truly game changing for digital planners. I am so, so excited about this feature and I cannot wait to show you how this is going to work and how you can do so many things with it. As you all know, there's been lots of talk and stuff going around about this feature. You all know that it's in here, but I don't know if you guys know the full capabilities of using this feature. And that is using links. So now GoodNotes has always had where you can, well, not always, um, but they've had for a while where you can link to an outside web page, which is fantastic. If you find recipes you want to link back to later, um, it, your music, there's lots of different things that you can do and link to websites, which is absolutely amazing amazing. But they just dropped an update on GoodNotes where it allows you to link to other planners or other pages within your notebooks. Y'all, this is game changing. We all know I'm a business owner and it is so hard um, to get the perfect planner for absolutely everybody because everybody has a little bit different needs. And we all basically need the same things, but there's always a few little tweaks and stuff that we could make to make the planner just perfectly fit us. And that's where I think that this linking game is going to come into play and it's going to definitely be absolutely amazing. Let me show you different things that you can do. Let me show you one of the basic ways that you can use this new insert. Y'all, this is so amazing. So now basically whenever you have um, any text, you can click on text and you can Click on it and highlight it and you can link it. So um, this text here is not linked. So if I highlight all of this text here, I can hit link and then it says link to. You can click website or document. I want to do document. And then you can either do the document that you're on or a different document. So um, I'm going to show you how to link this in just a second, but let me show you how it works first. So if you're in the linking mode in GoodNotes, um, you've got these lines underneath the text that shows you that there is a link there. So say it's Wednesday and I'm ready to cook. All I had to do is go to my calendar, see what I'm planning on cooking, and then click on egg roll in a bowl. It's going to take me to my recipe planner and bring up my recipe. Y'all, this is so good. <laughs> this is so cool. Um, so super easy. Say I still need to look at my planner. No problem. Just two clicks. You have it side by side and you do not have to go and find the recipe. It is absolutely amazing. Um, okay. So to do this, basically you got to find the recipe. So say I don't think I actually have smoked ribs in my recipe planner because it's a pretty basic, you don't really need a recipe for it. So I'm just going to show you another recipe and how to do this. Let me scroll over, say it's sausage fry. Say that's what we have right here. Um, so you can look right here that this is page 484. I'm in my planner pal and it's 484. So now I'm going to click over here to text. 
So there's no link there, nothing's underlined. So this is just regular text. So now I'm just gonna highlight all of this text. I'm gonna hit link. And then here you get to choose if you wanna do a website or document. I wanna do a document. That's basically anything inside GoodNotes. And then document, does it need to go in this document, this planner? No, I want it to go to Planner Pal. So I'm gonna select the document I want it to use. And then here it brings up all of my documents. So I'm gonna click on Planner Pal and then I'm going to hit select and then it says page. Well, we looked over here and the page was 484. So I'm going to hit page and then I'm going to scroll down until I see 484. So going down four. So I'm going to click on 484 and then now that is linked. So say we're on Monday now, we need this recipe. All we have to do is click on that and it's going to bring up my recipe. I can either put it in split screen over here or I can use it full screen. So that's one way that you can do it right at the beginning of the week you can set up all of your menu items you can link all of your recipes and that way you can get to it really really quickly this is also like there's so many things guys if you are using one of our planner pals like we just uh, we just released the portrait recipe pal where you can actually pre-plan like four weekly menus eight weekly menus you could already have those recipes linked and on there so whenever you're planning for the week just copy and paste it over and it will keep your link so you don't even have to find these links every single time. So if you're a pre-planner with your menu, like it's amazing. Hopefully that makes sense. So like say this is a week that we eat all the time. I could have this in my recipe planner with it already linked. And then whenever I copy and paste that text over, my recipes are already linked on there and I'm good to go. So you don't have to redo it every time. This is good for any pages that you get to all the time. So let me show you how that works. Okay, so this is my weekly spread for last week, and I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways that you can do this. Um, so I linked things that I get to. We all have those pages, especially if you have a planner pal, you have those pages that you go to over and over and over again. Like every time you sit down, you need that page. And so I linked those pages. So I have them right down here, just as regular text. I have my phone planner, recipe planner, stickers, fave menu, notebook, and finance. So now say I am sitting here and I'm designing this page and I need to figure out what my menu is going to be for this week. Okay, no problem. I'm going to click on a recipe planner. It is going to open up right on top of that screen, but it's, it's like two clicks and I can have it over in this other window and I've got my screen. Instead of having to go get my planner pal or even find it in my planner pal over here. Just having those links to the pages you use the most is amazing. Um, okay, so say I need my favorite menu. So I'm gonna click on that and then I'm gonna open this over here and I'm back in my planner. So now I can easily plan my menu super, super quick. Um, okay, I need to check my finances now. Okay, no problem, open that over there and I'm here on my finance page. Now I can compare my bills and get all my budget stuff out of the way. Um, but I'm ready to decorate or add some more stickers, no problem. I'm gonna click on my stickers and then I'm just gonna open that and put it in the new window. You see how quick this is? Like before we had a few steps that we had to go to and if our brain wasn't working, we had to think of how to get to that section. <laughs> And now it's so easy, it's literally at your fingertips. Um, my phone planner, I like to compare monthly overviews with my phone planner against my weekly planner. So I'm gonna open up my October phone planner right over here and I can compare my days over here. So super easy stuff I use all the time. So what's nice about this is I can go up here and hit edit and do lasso. I'm gonna take the images and everything off and just leave text box on. And I'm gonna lasso this and then I'm gonna add an element. I'm gonna save this to a separate um, section that I've called icons. I'm gonna click on icons and it's gonna save it there. So now whenever I'm on the next week planning, all I have to do is hit my elements, the little star, and then I'm going to click on that, um, well it's actually in recents here, but I could click on icons and it's going to have it right there to where I can click on it and it's ready to go. So here it is. Now I can decide if I want it up here, if I wanna put it down here at the bottom, which is probably where I'll put it right here. Okay, now let's start planning. Where are my stickers? Okay, here I am, open a new window, ready to go. So easy, so just adding that down there at the bottom. This works for so many different things. There's there's a notes page that I'm always getting to. There's a business page that I am always getting to. There's a music list page for my church I am always going to. So having those quick links is amazing and it's so easy to add to whatever page I'm doing by using the elements feature because the elements feature keeps the link on the um, text. 
It will also do this to images. So you cannot link images, but I'm going to show you. This is amazing, y'all. It is so fun. I'm so excited about this. So you can have the text. That's perfectly fine. You like that? Go for it. I don't love the lines underneath it. I am um, a visual person. The the lines underneath these are, is not the greatest. So what I like doing is adding icons. So we have an icon pack for you guys today. And here's a few that I have added down here at the bottom. I have this strip behind it. I drew two lines on top and bottom. And I have these cute little icons. So this takes me to my phone planner. This takes me to my decor page, my music page, my notes, my recipes. Um, this takes me to my business page. And this takes me to my sticker. So these are all pages that I go to almost on the daily and every single time I get my planner out. So I want to be able to just access these pages without even thinking about it. I've saved this whole thing into my elements. I've also saved each individual sticker that's linked to my elements. So if I just want to add one thing, I can. And I'm going to show you more about that in just a minute. So let me explain this to you first. I went to our icons. So here's our icons that we're releasing today. We have 27 icons, super, super cute. You can use these just with your normal planning as well, but they make great little icons for this new feature. Um, so we do have this available. It's linked down below. It's already in the shop live for you guys to purchase today. Uh, super, super cute icons. Um, so going back to my planner here, I've used a lot of those icons down here. So you're just gonna add one of those stickers. So say I'm gonna grab this book. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna paste it over here. And then now I want this to be a quick link, okay? So I'm gonna hit the text icon here. And then I am just going to add a space bar. To where it is big enough so change your font size until it's bigger like just the same size as the book that's what you're going for so this may be a little bit big so i'm going to take it down just a little bit i'm going to highlight this i'm going to take it down just a little bit so it's not too big and I'm not clicking this link when I don't want to. You basically just wanted to cover the icon there with spaces. That's what I, all I've done is hit the space bar to where I've got a blue where I can highlight, right? It just highlighted my spaces. Now I'm going to click on it that it's highlighted and I'm going to hit link. And then now I'm going to link this to my planner pal and I'm gonna hit select and then I'm gonna hit page. And then now I want to link it to my book page. So the first time you are going to have to look it up and see which page it's on. Once you do this once, you don't have to keep doing it. So if you save these into elements, you don't have to keep finding the specific page you're looking for. Um, so my books are right here. I'm going to stay on page 1448. So I'm going to scroll down, way down to the bottom. That's a lot, 1148. So I'm going to click on 1448 and now it's linked to that page. So now anytime I want to get to my book page really quickly, I'm going to exit out of that. I'm in my links. I'm not in edit mode. I'm in my link mode. I'm just going to tap on my books and it's going to open up my books and then I can open up in a new window and it brings me right back to my planner here. So now I've got my books right beside me in one easy one easy click, it's, it's right here. All I have to do is move it to split screen. So no going back and searching for stuff. It is absolutely amazing. I love this. And then if I want this um, to be able to use this in the future really easy, all you have to do is lasso it and make sure images and text is turned on. So click on your lasso tool, make sure images and text boxes whenever you move this because that clear text box you can't see, but that's the link. So you're just going to click this and you can add element and add it to your icon. Okay. So what's really, really cool about this is say I am planning my week and I'm going to click on um, elements and then I'm going to click on icons and I need to um, work. So I'm going to click on this cute little typewriter here and I'm going to put it right beside some work that I have to do. So I'm going to put it right here. So I know I've got a bunch of work to do right here. And this is my icon for work and I know that. So now whenever I am here on this page checking off things and like, okay, I've got work to do. Um, what do I have to do today? It's going to take me to my overview pages of my releases that I have coming out. Um, so that's going to be super easy for me to go back and see exactly what I'm releasing and when I am releasing it. So you can use those quick links 
settings for anything. So um, now I want to add my music. I always add my music on Tuesdays for our team. So I'm going to click a little my little music icon right here. And then now I know that whenever I am ready to make up my music list for that week, I can click on my little music icon and it's going to bring me a list of the songs that we are currently doing all the time now. So it's amazing, you guys. So many different ways you can use it within your planning. Um, if you go to a new page and say you don't want the writing down here, you can click on elements and you can add in that cute little strip that you added. So let's click on our little strip. We're going to bring it down here at the bottom. Now we have all of our quick links down here at the bottom. Um, if we just want to add those down at the bottom of each page or wherever we're working and you can add quick links for anything. So that is a look at the brand new three feature update for GoodNote 6, um, arranging, hyperlinking, and color codes with the eyedropper tool and different ways that you can use them. Y'all, these are some amazing planner tools that brings our planning game up to the next level. We can do so many different things with what they've offered us with this new linking feature and all of that. So hopefully those gave you some really good ideas. There's so many different ways that you can use this linking feature that I didn't even get into that my mind just starts going. I'm like, oh, I can do this and I could do this. And there's so much. You can link journal pages. You can link Bible. There, There's so much. You can link to any other planner. Um, so many good things that you can do. I cannot wait to see how you all use these. Um, we've got those icons available and linked down below if you guys want to purchase those and use them the way that I am using them. I think it is going to save me tons of time in the long run um, going to pages that I go to all the time. So uh, that is a look at the new features for GoodNotes and our new product release today and how they, how you can use them for your digital planning and hopefully give you guys some inspiration for it today. So thank you so much for joining. Be sure to join us on Facebook, YouTube and Instagram. We have tons of inspiration, customers that share stuff. Our team is amazing here. I'm just so excited that you guys got to join along with us today. Thank you for watching and I hope you have an amazing time digital planning and I will see you on Saturday.